so after qualifying, we come back in the cars and we get back into the truck and we'll do a data debrief and we'll go through bits that we need to improve on and bits that are good. We'll sit and do a debrief with the track map of how the driver felt the balance was, what they felt they could do better, what they felt could improve by the car, from the car. After doing data and, and then refreshing and refueling, making sure you're hydrated and, and you've eaten enough uh, food. We have to wait for part Fermi to finish. The cars will be held and all the scrutineering checks will be done. The guys might have to go and weigh or some other checks will be done that the scrutineer wants to make sure that the car's eligible to race. After part Fermi is finished, we'll retrieve the data from the cars and the video. We'll do a, a group assessment of the three data pages against maybe the fastest lap we have, see where we can improve um, car performance and driver performance. And apart from that, it's, it, there's not really much else to do. It's kind of a relaxing time just to kind of get prepared for the next race. In between qualifying and race one, it's an extremely busy time for the mechanics. They have to take the fuel out of the car, check all the components, check, may, may, maybe make some changes that the engineer wants to change on the car and make sure everything's within tolerance to, to be able to race. Before we go out for the race, we'll talk to the drivers about the race start and the race strategy, what we'll, what we'll plan to do on the start, the tyre warm-up procedure, how we approach the race, if we get a good start, if we get a bad start, because obviously it's a long race weekend and we can't afford to be dropping points.